the whole focus of this is to use dance as a way to inspire people to live optimally. But it's really to develop a community around um, getting people to be more engaged, more aware about their health in all aspects, not just physical, but also spiritual, and how that impacts the community and how we can better ourselves so that we are greater uh, vessels and tools for God to be an impact and a light in the community. Everybody and everybody type can dance. Dance is first and foremost a form of communication. It is another way of speaking. It's another way of having a voice. And it's another way of expressing yourself without limitation. Um, my name's LaShawn Dodds. I'm the executive and artistic director of Dippa Center Dance Studio in Douglasville and DIPA stands for Dodds International Performing Arts. I started off as a competitive gymnast when I was five. My mom put me into a very competitive program to train me for the Olympics. But I think we found during that time, my favorite obstacle was always forex. And um, eventually when I got into fifth grade or sixth grade, I told my mom I wanted to uh, just have a, a, just lay back from gymnastics because I was competing every weekend. In the mornings I would go training, in the evenings I would go training, you know, after school and it was just a lot and I think my passion, I didn't have a passion for it as I did for dance. After I got out of um, gymnastics I immediately matriculated into dance through my public school program. It just happened to be there. I didn't know what I was going to do. I just happened to, my mom said you're going to do something. If you're not going to do gymnastics, you're going to do something. And so I said, well, why don't I just do the dance program at my public school? And that's what I did and fell in love. I have not left it since. And my real passion is choreography. I love to choreograph. And so that was presented through my dance program at eighth, um, in sixth grade. And I choreographed my first piece in sixth grade and it was at the Beasley Bee Dance Troupe. And, um, and ever since then, I then went on to Whitney Young, got into their dance program, and then graduated from there, went to Howard University, went into their dance program, graduated from there, then I went to New York, went to Alvin Ailey, and then went to Bree Dance Studio in LA, and, um, and I haven't stopped since. I actually had the vision when I was living back in LA and our family had just started. Um, I was working in corporate America for most of the most of my time coming right out of college, um, just trying to be a responsible parent and um, got a lot of experience in nonprofit work in that way and just really wanted to figure out how I could make a living doing what I loved. So my first initiative was to approach my daughter's public school because they didn't have a dance program. Spoke to the principal and we agreed that it would be great to have a dance program there. And really that's how all of this started. Um, and I always wanted it to be more than just where students come and take dance classes. I wanted to be an avenue where I could have the opportunity to enrich the spirits as well as the, um, the mental you know, stability and be a support to the families of those children in some type of way um, in the development of their children in the arts. We then, um, you know, things changed in life. You know, we were young parents and we decided we wanted to move closer to where our families were. We moved into Atlanta. We actually landed here in Douglasville. And of course, coming here, um, we didn't have work. So all of it was a faith walk for both of us, my husband and myself, Curtis Dodds, of course. And so um, it was exciting. It was an exciting adventure, but it was also a very challenging one at the same time. We first started in a church that embraced us and really liked our vision and what we wanted to do. And they were interested in incorporating the performing arts with their outreach for youth for their church. Um, they were trying to find ways to bring more children and youth into their program. And so they embraced our dance program because it was about ministry, which I decided um, 
I didn't decide. God said to me, spoke to my spirit and said, I want you to teach dance, but have a Christian ministry through it. And at first I was very apprehensive because I didn't think it would be successful. Um, but he gave me the strength to be obedient enough to just do what he asked me to do. And so I did that. And the church opened its doors, did no finance, no money, no, no to start anything. I didn't have any money to start anything. So I started in the church as a summer camp program. The parents then were like, okay, we can't stop here. What else do you have? And so then I really had to step out in faith like I don't really have anything else. <laughs> Uh, we want a year-round program is what they stated. We want to keep our children in this type of training and in this type of program. And so um, I was encouraged by my mom to step out in faith and found a space in Douglasville who also just really embraced the vision and gave me an opportunity to start it. And um, again, having very little funds, stepped out in faith and opened up my first studio. And we have been faith walking ever since, and that was about 12 years ago. We have many different programs. Um, our first program is our general program. It's open to the community. You know, anybody can sign up. Of course, although we're a Christian dance studio, we don't turn anybody away. We're open to receiving all children, of all, people of all different faiths and backgrounds, and we embrace them, and that's a wonderful opportunity. Um, so it starts from the age of four all the way up to adults, and that's our open program. That's for everyone in the community. And then we also have a tour team program, and those are the children that you saw today. Those are the children and the families who go above and beyond and really want to excel in dance, and so they have a very stringent program. Um, they perform in the communities, uh, in the community at different um, programs. We performed for the uh, NAACP. We performed for a um, hundred um, uh, black women organization. We performed for one women concert. Um, we performed for Open Hands. We do that every year. They go out and they serve in the community. We perform for the women's shelter here in Douglasville. Um, just senior, just any any type of community outreach that they can use their arts, um, performing arts skills for, just to give them an opportunity to understand that it's it's not about um, getting on stage and and getting you know, accolades. It's really about performing arts. It's all about service. It's about speaking to the community, inspiring the community, uplifting the community, and you being a service uh, to, you know, those around you with your art. Dancing at the different, like, fundraisers and organizations that we dance for, it also teaches us, like, how to be professional. So if we were to take dancing to a professional level or do it at a company, we would know the procedures for certain shows and how to get ourselves together how to get ready and how to be independent without you know like our moms or helping us and stuff like that so dancing for people that are less fortunate than us really gives us a new perspective on everybody else's lives and it really well it makes me feel very like privileged to be able to come somewhere and just be able to have an outlet to be creative. And it also teaches us how to dance in like different situations because we're not always gonna have the best floor or the most space. And with like all 10 of us, we have to figure out how we're best gonna use the small little space how, or how we're best going to perform. And most of the performances really aren't about us. It's about inspiring others. So even if we feel the worst about our performance, it's great to know that the audience may be they don't know that's our worst and they still feel like inspired and they feel like excited to see pe like younger people do something better with their lives. We have a student ambassador program and the student ambassador program is specifically for our high schoolers. Gives them an opportunity to now speak on their art. So when we go out in the community, they're the ones who present. They represent the organization. They talk about who we are and, and the things that they do and why DIPA is important to them, why their art is important to them, why they do what they do in the community and why they share their art form. Um, we also have a teacher assistant program which trains um, our high schoolers. And so when they see themselves doing these techniques or these skill sets that they may see maybe usually an adult doing and mastering it, 
it develops a level of confidence, um, self-love, you know, um, them really embracing who they are, giving them their own voice, you know, and um, to speak with, and um, it empowers them. And so I think our youth today is being attacked on so many different levels. It's so important for them to have this kind of experience and knowledge of themselves at a very young age, and not just physically, but also spiritually, so it's, there's a balance of being uh, humble and having humility. I feel like it's given me a push to find my spirituality and my relationship with God, whatever that is to me or to anybody else. Um, I found that for myself. Um, and I think it's a blessing that we're able to be with these girls here and encourage them to find their spirituality for themselves. And we give them a foundation um, and then we encourage them to find their truth for themselves and to find God for themselves. So what I've observed in my children are just basically the way that they have developed as people. Um, I feel that DIPA has allowed them to be cultivated in a very special way. Um, just from learning how to eat better, from learning how to be better people, um, to serve in the community, um, and just to love themselves and um, accept themselves for who they are. I have two boys and a girl, so she calls it each other. She says she doesn't have each other. Mommy and daddy has each other. Her brothers have each other. She doesn't have each other. And so I prayed for her to have sisters, for her to have just this wonderful connection and bond and relationship with girls her age. And that's what we found here and more because she has those in her peer group, but then she has those that are a little younger, those that are a little older, and it's a family. It's, and, and so it really was just an answer to a prayer guide, you know, heard me and he knew what we needed, even when I didn't know what we needed, and he sent us here, and it's been a blessing. As a company, Lord, we just thank you so much for this ministry. We thank you for Ms. Dodd. Um, and so that's why the spiritual is so important. And so we do a lot of Bible study, we do prayer, we do, um, intercession with them. Um, we're open. We keep everything confidential. If a child comes to me with something and they want to talk about it, we, we you know, go into prayer or biblical scripture to help them deal with that. And so it really keeps them balanced. And so we're, we're interested in, in servicing the whole person and not just the physical. Our adult program is a huge fitness, it's free to the community, it's free to the adults who want to come and participate. And it's really all about fitness and health. And so um, we try and use dance as a fun and um, warm way to introduce fitness and health to um, our community, our women in the community. Men are open to come, but they typically don't tend to come. But we would love to have more men join us. I dance with the different parents and it's an awesome time to come and congregate and have uh, just time with your friends. We've grown and become very close and get away from um, stresses of life. Our adults um, perform in different areas of dance. They will do modern ballet technique training. Uh, we do Horton training in, in modern. Um, we have next year we'll have African. We did tap one year. And so they learn dances in these different uh, disciplines and then they perform at the end of the year. Um, last year they went to competition. They won first place. Um, many of our dancers, adult dancers, have never had training before. It's given me a new outlook on life. It's given me a youthfulness that many crave for because many people, once they reach my young age, they're looking at retiring and doing boring stuff. But I'm the opposite, like I enjoy dancing, I get yelled at for not pointing my toes, but I was never a dancer. So learning to perfect pointing my toes and kicking my leg up over my head, oh yeah, I'm going to do all of that. So it inspires me to do all of that. We have a huge um, preventative health component to that as well. And um, so every year we do a 10-day fast, a raw, all raw fast. And it's our time and opportunity to um, really, it's not really about the fitness part, it's about spiritual fitness. It's a time where our women can um, get closer to God. 
Um, at the time in my life personally, I was actually going through the phase where I was connecting to God and I was um, finding my spirituality and just, just finding myself um, as it relates to connecting with Him and what I want to do with my life and who I want to be. So when I met LaShawn and I got introduced to DIPA as a program, it was very inspirational because it was exactly just what I needed to meet in my life on the path that I was going. It just aided in every way that it could. Um, if you're, if we're preparing for a show, and we have eight hours of rehearsals on Saturdays on top of that, you know that goes into like 18 to 20 hours a week, and uh, they have to do that with balancing their schoolwork and all of the other things, you know, that they have to deal with with being children and finding themselves and knowing how to manage socially in this new world and all those wonderful things. So, yeah, they have a very demanding schedule. It develops a dedication, commitment, focus, discipline, the ability to say no to some things because you've already committed to some things. That's one of the biggest things that I found that kids do have to learn early on being in a very demanding program like this. And I think it's a great skill set for them to understand the importance of making a decision. You know, prioritizing life. I want to be excellent in dance, so no, I can't do this. Or I can't do dance and be a track star. You know, I have to prioritize. And that's a good skill set for any child going into adulthood because there are a lot of adults who have a challenge with that in their lives who can't figure out why am I not on purpose? Why can't I figure out what I want to do? Why can't I? Because if you're going to be excellent at anything, you need to have a focus and work, work on that. I learned that you never have to give up and that you have to keep trying because you'll never get through in life if you don't keep trying. And um, I think being in an environment where they are free to express themselves and um, where they feel safe um, it's a blessing to be able to give them the opportunity to do that at, at such a young age in the society that we live in because a lot of times it's very hard um, to feel safe and to be vulner vulnerable and um, to tell the truth and to look for God and search, you know, for that. Um, so it's just great to be able to be a safe space. I think that's the beauty also that they find in the tour team. They go through a lot of um, frustration in themselves together they build each other up you know you'll see some kids get discouraged because they can't get a technique or a trick or they find themselves in this lull of not a, a lack of growth that they want to see themselves in and so they are often there for each other when I'm not there now, these are things sometimes I'm, I don't even know what's going on but they're there for each other they uplift each other they will pray for each other um, they're there to comfort each other so knowing the importance of having an excellent team also is a skill set that they develop. So we're like one big family here, like everybody knows everybody. Um, and like there's no, there's no negative energy towards each other. And it's always positive, we're always encouraging each other. And even though we all work hard and sometimes we make mistakes, it, we're never putting each other down. We're all together. It's like we're all kind to each other and we all love each other and it's just a big group of people who loves each other. And it inspires me to work harder every day. I learned that we're all family and that we come here to get better and stronger and to make new friends and to just get better. We all love each other and we are our family. We all push each other to be the best that we are. Like everybody feels like they're my sisters. Through all of the challenges, which we've had many, um, just seeing God's work, His work is beautiful and it's inspiring. And any time that I would get discouraged, I just really couldn't completely not continue to take the next step. It was just like, okay, well this is a challenge, 
but the seed that is planted and how he's watering it and blossoming um, this ministry. It was just too beautiful. It was a beautiful community. It was the, the children just, just seeing them grow and blossom and the impact that it had on the families as well. I thought I was putting her in a program for her to be a part of the program, for her to have something to do. And so we drop her off, she do her thing, and then I do my thing. And I learned that no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what this is. This is a it's a family. Like this is a collective, collaborative thing. And so we have both grown. I see discipline in her. I see where she's very responsible. It's more than just dance. Dipa means to me a place like a second home, like somewhere I can come to learn new things and meet new friends and like just grow as a person. It's constantly inspiring, constantly challenging, constantly stretching, but I wouldn't choose any other way. She's just helped me understand my love for dance and why I like to do what I do. And she just makes me want to be a better dancer. And I feel like I could do anything, you know what I mean? The knowledge that we're teaching the kids, specifically as it relates to preventative health through proper eating. You know, I guess since we have this strong requirement, like in summer camp, they can't bring any potato chips, sodas, anything with preservatives in it. They can only bring raw fruits, raw vegetables, a healthy homemade uh, meal for lunch, bottled waters is all they drink with. And so if a household hasn't typically purchased their food in that way or lived in that type of lifestyle, it forces them to have a learning curve. So when we give them this knowledge at a young age, they go back home and they're like, mommy, I don't wanna eat that. I wanna eat something else. And so they're starting to teach their parents and they're starting to teach their sisters and brothers. And eventually a slow seed is set in that home and small changes start to happen. And so then the parents come in and, you know, mostly it's the moms who prepare the foods or go grocery shopping and they're part of the adult program. And then we feed them the same information. We have this detox program. So it's just matriculated into this impact on families. I would like to say to Ms. LaShawn, thank you so much for helping me become a better version of me and helping me gain a lot of confidence. And also just them understanding the importance of um, being patient and trusting in the program. So when I say that, you know, right now a lot of, there are lots of opportunities for kids to get in a lot of things and parents always want their kids to excel and get a trophy here, a trophy there, a trophy here, a trophy there. And then, yeah, I want her to be excelling this and that. But um, understanding the importance of allowing them to learn to focus and truly excel in one thing. That's another great impact in learning commitment and dedication. So it's also matriculated into the families that they've seen the value in it and they understand it. And it, it also comes to impact a part of their parenting skill, you know? Dippa is literally everything <laughs> for me right now because um, like I just go to school and I come to dance so um, I, and I've been dancing basically my whole entire life. So I really wanted this program to be available to everyone and um, that means being available to those who can't really afford um, anything outside of their parents just taking care of you know providing for shelter food and you know clothing um, and so with having a nonprofit, it allows us to seek funding to support those families and those children who are great um, proponents for this program but without the funding they wouldn't be able to attend and so we have a few wonderful individual sponsors we've had a couple of corporate sponsors but we're looking to engage a lot more in the community we also have a huge um, dancing scholars program and so we promote that our dancers seek to be excellent in academics um, and we have a dancing scholars program that awards all of our dancers who receives honor roll or all A's every year. 
but we also are starting a dancing scholars program that will provide scholarship to assist young ladies in the performing arts, specifically in the area of dance, to attend college and to assist them financially in doing so. I like the visions and missions that we have as a dance company and in inspiring others to be great dancers as well. Um, giving back to the community, our scholarship program, allowing others to become dancers or giving them something positive to do with their lives as opposed to finding themselves doing wasteless stuff and getting in trouble. So I enjoy, because I like it so much, I enjoy being a part of an organization that can give back to people that are less fortunate and give them an opportunity to shine. And I want to see DIPA grow uh, and to be able to just touch other dancers in the community and be able to uh, build dancers' confidence the way that they're building the young girls' confidence here and be able to see all of uh, the community uplifted the way that it is here in this organization. We would love to have a performing, a Christian performing arts facility that does not only expand, um, that does not only focus on excellence in dance, but expands also into music and art and theater so that we can impact more youth who are interested in the arts. And so we would like to have a larger community where there's a place where kids can go and come to and have a home to develop themselves and learn a voice, learn the importance of using their skill set to inspire and in, in, um, empower and challenge, you know, certain worldviews that may be counter to um, productivity, you know, in life or optimal living. Um, and so that's, that's typically what we would love to do, to have this one center and bus kids from all different areas into this program. I love that she teaches the girls, again, like I said, not just dance, but she teaches them to use the gifts that they have been given to minister, to inspire, to serve. You know, you're not just dancing just for the sake of dancing. Like you are offering a gift of yourself that was imparted to you, um, to the world. Well, when I dance, I feel free. Thanks for watching. Go to aibtv.com forward slash donate to support programming like this. Your contributions may be tax deductible.